One minute. Liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. T minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus 31. T minus 35, 33. And we have had a failure. Right lot sequencer. Just remind us the folks are uh, locked in their whole time is three minutes and sixteen seconds. FTDC TLS one two one two, we're ready to go. All right, very good. And launch director with that cleanup, we're gonna go ahead and proceed. Yes, sir, please do. All right, and all personnel, we are gonna pick up the clock here momentarily. GLS, you can resume the clock on your mark. I'll copy that. Cap on clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus. Auto sequence start. And off to Atlantis' computers has occurred. Solid rocket booster nozzle steering check and work. 20. Firing chain is armed. 15. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 1 minute 40 seconds into the flight. 
Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for 1 minute, 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Atlantis, two-engine towel.